Hey, it's Regulus Maximus, and today we are checking out the Masterverse. Masters of the Universe, Revelations. King Grayskull. Get ready. Regulus Maximus. Alright, as I stated before, we are checking out the Masters of the Universe, Revelations. King Grayskull. Now, this is one that um, a lot of you probably still have on pre-order because uh, I actually got one on pre-order too. Um, but I actually was um, at Target today. Um, the Target, it's about like an hour and a half for me. I just happened to be in the area at the time. So I went by, I saw this, and I got it. So let's go ahead and uh, check out the box. As you can see, there's uh, Masterverse. Here's the box right there. You can see inside there. He's got another head. He's got a shield. He's got a couple hands with him. Sword. He's got his other sword in here. Uh, King Grayskull. And uh, there's a side of the box artwork. It looks real good. And uh, you got the back of the uh, box. Like I, said, I mean, this looks great. I love the artwork. I love that artwork. I absolutely love it. Um, it shows the different figures that they actually have within this line. Um, I didn't get Savage Man. I'm thinking about possibly getting that. I don't know. But um, I'm loving this line. I'm loving the revelations. I hope they continue it. I think it's awesome. So, I mean, what do you guys think? Are you loving the Masterverse series? I know a lot of people, um, they saw the first... Um, season of uh, Revelations and they was disappointed. But then when the second season came in, I mean, everything came together, which I knew it would. But, uh, what do you guys think? But, uh, enough talk. I want to open this up. I got one coming, so I keep one in the box. But I'm opening this one up, so let's All get in there. Right, we have King Grayskull out the box, and as you can see, he's got this uh, on his face. It's, you know, big uh, I'm ready to fight type of thing, you know, his teeth is showing and yeah, look at that. I gotta make sure I get this on though. Let me do that. Now one thing I am going to note, his hand kind of keeps falling out. So, maybe it's a little bit loose. But his hand keeps falling out. Shaking. These little parts right here, um, this little piece of Velcro right there, you gotta make sure you, I guess, bring that up enough to make sure that it's up and around his shoulders type of thing. Uh, his cape does have a wire in it. So, I know a lot of the capes didn't have their, have a wire in them, so. But yeah. And let's take a closer look at him. Look at the, he's got gold painting on his belt. And it's, um, let's see this part right here is painted a tan. He's got his logo, his braids kind of hiding it. But there you go. So, he's got the boots with the fur. I mean, he looks real good. A lot of good paint on him. I'm liking it. Now you can change his head. Let me go ahead and do that. There we go. So let's go ahead and put this one on there. Go ahead. Go ahead. New head. Alright, so there we go. He's got this new head on there. Try to get him all situated. But I am liking this. I am liking King Grayskull. And as you can see, he's got his swords um, in the show. Um, they got to bring these swords back together, a little spore. So, I mean, but, uh, yeah, they got these swords. I like that. I mean, he looks pretty good. 
I mean, it goes to uh, possibilities, but the same as all the Masterverse figures. So you should already know what to expect if you haven't checked out the Masterverse figures. I mean, um, check those out. They're pretty good. Let's check out a little bit of articulation. Got that double knee bend. Kind of afraid to push it too much. I don't want to. Let's try this one. There we go. We got that one going real good. So, and he's got waist articulation, so his waist can move and um, his abdominal. So yeah, he got that going on too. Head, as you saw, is on a ball joint, but the um, braids and the back of the hair kind of hinders the head movement. Um, like I said, this keeps on coming undone. Let me go ahead and take this one out and put the shield in. I mentioned um, about his, you know, he got the hinges on his feet and everything, so you got real good articulation within there. I mean, like I said, all the Masterverse figures are like that. So this keeps on popping off too for some reason. No, no. So. Yeah, he's not bad. Let me draw a comparison. Here's a SAS comparison with King Grayskull and the Masterverse He-Man. So they both look good. They both look amazing. I'm loving this. Now I know in the 2008 series, um, their King Grayskull was white. I wanted to get him. I didn't get a chance to get him. He's selling for a lot online. So I'd love to see them do another release of King Grayskull. The 2008 King Grayskull. So I'd love to see that. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the shields. Oops. So right there, you can see the shields, how they look side by side. All right, right here, you can see the swords. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show them to you. So there's the two swords that King Grace Girl comes with. And the difference between And right here, you can see the, right here you can see the difference between the three. So, these two are supposed to form that one, so, there you go. Like I said, he did come with two head sculpts, so you can see right here, here's the one where he's gritting his teeth, then the one where he's looking all nice and calm, so I mean, you can decide which one you'd rather have yours use it's up to you but uh overall i like this i like the character in the cartoon even though uh this part was kind of short on it and everything i still liked it um like i said i still like to get the 2000 next um version you know you know he's the white guy and uh this one's the black one so i mean with me i mean i like the whole idea that King Grayskull beat white, black, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I mean, multiverse type of thing. Um, I love it. So, I mean, I like the character. So, I mean, it just uh, it just works. I like to see him have some type of something he could ride. Uh, I know uh, in the 2000 Next series, um, he had his battle line. I like to see something like that with him. Um, now, I'd ordered this from um, Target, but... Um, I don't know, Target's kind of weird about stuff and everything. If you order, like, a pre-order, they're going to take the money out your account. Then they'll hold it for a while. And then they'll release it. So you're thinking that, hey, I done paid for it. That's it. No. Several times until the, the order comes in, they're going to take that money back out and everything to make sure it's there for whenever they decide to put it out and everything. They're going to do that several times. And if your money isn't there... They're going to cancel it. Um, I know that um, I had a couple things canceled like that with um, ordering pre-orders from Target. 
And that's what I don't like from Target and everything. Like I said, I mean, hell, I figure once I pay for it, that should be it. That's it. No more, no less. It's it. But uh, I did uh, get a chance to, because I called them about it and everything, and they said it was all the pre-orders were sold out and everything. I did go back and was able to get me one. I checked back, you know, several times, and I guess um, they do everybody else the same way, and maybe they lose theirs, and I was able to pre-order me another one. So if you're running that problem, maybe that's something you might want to do. I had the same problem with the G.I. Joe figure, so... But either or it's something you might want to think about. But hey, I'm going to let you get on off here. This is Regimus Maximus with uh, the Masters of the Universe, Revelations, Masterverse, King Grayskull. Got it from Target. If you like it, go check your Target out and see if he's at your Target like he was at the Target I went to today. I'm going to jump on off here, Regimus Maximus, and I am out.